वेलकम टू वर्चुअल क्लास ऑफ म्यूनिसपल कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ ग्रेटर मुंबई एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट आई एम मिसेस अक्षिता काले एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न इंग्लिश कम ऑन स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस बिगिन आवर लेसन सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ एंड नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज अ लार्क Yes, dear children, lark means a bird, a very small bird. Many species of this we can find in Africa, and only and only one species we can find in America. Yes, dear children, lark is also called a song bird, okay, or a early bird, and mostly it is. brownish in color yes here the poet talks to a lark he asks some questions to lark okay we will go through the poem this is a page from your textbook page number 71 a lark yes dear children here we can see two stanzas isn't it here in this stanza the poet talks to the lark and here the poet talks to the goldfish got this now once we will go through lark bird lark bird soaring high are you never weary when you reach the empty sky are the clouds not dreary don't you sometimes long to be a silent goldfish in the sea see here questions were asked to the lark bird by the poet goldfish goldfish diving deep are you never sad say when you feel the cold waves creep are you really glad say Don't you sometimes long to sing and be a lark bird on the wing The poet's name is Lawrence Alma Tadema Okay now here in the second he asked to the goldfish Okay we will go through by stanzas Here is अव पोयम अ लार्क लार्क बर्ड लार्क बर्ड सोरिंग हाय आर यू ने वर वेरी वेन यू रीच द एम टी स्काय आर द क्लाउड्स नॉट ड्रेरी Don't you sometimes long to be a silent goldfish in the sea? Yes, dear children, here soaring high means flying high. Okay, and see a lark bird. Lark is a bird, you know, very small bird. Lark bird, lark bird, soaring high means you are flying high. Are you never weary? Are you never tired? or exhausted here the poet is asking the lark bird you are always flying high are you never tired or are you never exhausted when you reach the empty sky are the clouds not dreary means you don't feel the dull and boring clouds okay he is asking to the lark bird Don't you sometimes long to be a silent goldfish in the sea? Means you don't want to become here long. Here long to be means badly wish to do something. Okay, here yeah, don't you sometimes long to be? You don't wish to become a goldfish in the sea. Yes, here the summary of this first stanza is nothing but the poet asks. the lark which is flying high in the sky 
whether it is never tired or exhausted he asked if it doesn't find the clouds very boring in the empty sky the poet wonders if the lark doesn't sometimes wish to be a silent goldfish in the sea got the children okay now here we can see some rhyming pairs we will encircle them see in the first line high okay the high rhymes with the sky you know the meaning of rhyming words correct they sound similar isn't it rhyming words are the words which sound similar now in the second line we can see very right it rhymes with dreary very dreary next b rhymes with c okay got the meaning of first stanza we will move to second stanza now in this first stanza poet talk to the lark bird isn't it now in the second stanza see this he talks to gold fish you can see here gold fish golden in color okay gold fish gold fish diving deep are you never sad say always you are diving are you never sad when you feel the cold waves creep are you really glad say see cold waves the meaning tells you correct you really becomes glad he is asking don't you sometimes long to sing and be a lark bird on the wing then he talks to the goldfish diving deep into the sea is the goldfish never sad is it really happy when it feels the cold waves creeping towards it he wonders if the goldfish doesn't sometimes longs to sing and be like a lark in the flight got the children here the poet's name is lawrence alma tadema okay now here also we can see some rhyming pairs see here deep creep then sad glad sing wing all together we can find six pairs of rhyming words isn't it very simple and small poem yes dear children we will try to sing this song okay a lark lark bird lark bird soaring high are you never weary when you reach the empty sky are the clouds not dreary don't you sometimes long to be a silent goldfish in the sea goldfish goldfish diving deep are you never sad say when you feel the cold waves creep are you really glad say don't you sometimes long to sing and be a lark bird on the wing is dear children try to sing in rhythm okay i have tried but uh, i don't think that is uh, up to the mark okay now here we will go through the hard words very here very means tired 
or exhausted you can see the two pictures right tired or exhausted next is dreary d r e a r y the meaning is dull and boring here this word is used to the clouds here on the wing yes you can see the picture on the wing means fly now dear children here four question answers are there we will go through them first answer the following questions these are from your textbook okay first one write what the lark does yes what it is doing yes the lark soars high in the sky it is flying high in the sky write what the gold fish does the answer is the gold fish dives deep into the sea it is written in the poem isn't it the next question is what does the poet want to know from the lark yes here in this poem the poet asks some questions to the lark isn't it yes here what he wants to know from the lark the answer is the poet wants to know whether the lark is never tired or exhausted and if it doesn't find the clouds very boring in the empty sky the poet wonders if it doesn't sometimes wish to be a silent goldfish in the sea fourth question is what does the poet want to know from the goldfish how he ask the questions to the lark like that only he asks the questions to goldfish here also he asks he wants to know if the goldfish is never sad is it really happy when it feels the cold waves creeping towards it he wonders if it doesn't sometimes long to sing and be like a lark in flight okay here long to be means badly wish to do something sometimes we long to be to have the ice cream correct like that okay yes dear children this is all about our poem a lark now we will move to the grammar part yes here today we are going to learn about the articles okay it is very easy see articles your articles in english there are three articles only three articles are there got this they are a and and the remember this only three articles a and and the we will study about these in detail see articles there are two types means these three articles are differentiated in two columns indefinite articles and definite articles indefinite the word only tells us there is no uh, nothing is definite correct right? indefinite so that is used for general things and definite articles that is for specific things we use see that is the we use the for a specific things or a definite thing got this and we use a or an to the indefinite things 
okay see first we will study about a here a is used in front of singular countable nouns you know the nouns means a person a name of a person animal or thing correct which are not specific second is here only we don't use a before uncountable or plural nouns we can use a only for a singular countable nouns okay next thing is if a noun starts with consonant sound like b c d f j k l m n etc okay then a comes before that noun we will go through some examples then it will become very clear for you say this is a book what we say a book see the consonant sound b correct this is a noun book is a noun right name of a, a thing that is book so here a book this is countable only one book is there and this is singular one book so we say a book a cat a house a bike or a motorcycle a table a doctor see these are all singular countable nouns isn't it so we used a before these words now we will go through an a n an an is used in front of singular countable nouns that is same thing here person animal or things name which are not specific we don't use an before uncountable or plural nouns same as a if a noun starts with vowel sound that is a e i o u then an comes before the noun okay this is special for this okay rest all same as a but only when the word or the noun that uh, sounds with vowel then an comes before that word okay examples an orange the c here o correct the sound starts with o a e i o u you know that these are vowels right so an orange an elephant right an old man an hour here h is there in the beginning but it sounds hour okay vowel sound is there so an ant okay now next one is the this is a definite article we use the before all nouns to describe something or someone unique or specific whether the noun be countable or uncountable singular or plural got this children only thing is the uh, word or the thing should be definite or unique or specific here yeah, the sun single correct unique 
the sun the earth only one is there the earth the clouds the cloud the aeroplane okay fill in the blanks by using a or an or the here we can see five fill in the blanks okay we have to think and we have to fill these blanks with a or an or the see we will go through first one there is a dash pizza there is Yes, we have to use a or an or the. There is a pizza. Very good. There is this is dash onion. This is an onion. Correct. This is an apple. Right. Next dash weather is pleasant. What to use a and the? Correct. The weather is pleasant. Dash sun rises in the east. Yes, the sun. You know that unique, correct? The sun rises in the east. That is dash peacock. That is a peacock, right? Singular and countable. Got this, children? Yes, thank you, children. Try to learn this poem, okay, which is on page number seventy-one. Thank you very much for being a part of this lesson. Please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get new updated videos.